Just Hockey is the largest supplier of hockey equipment in Australia. With a full range of sticks, pads, shoes and safety equipment, they'll have you out on the practice zone today. Check out the website for the store nearest you, all the specials and the latest hockey news from around the world on Go Hockey News. Just Hockey. It's all hockey. Today we're going to be working on outletting from the left-hand edge of the field when an opposition's in, a, in an offensive press. So what we're going to be working on is effect effectively a couple of start positions and a couple of different lead patterns. So we can see here of the defensive player looking for an outlet down the line, whose line is effectively cut off by an attacker. The scenario we have here is we have a defender over the ball whose options are effectively cut off by a press. As Mitchell moves forward off the ball, we have another defender who comes in to create the overlap, player leading off the line, and effectively creating space. What we're trying to achieve is effectively an overlap. The left half steps forward down the line and encourages the fullback to step forward to the ball. As the inside forward leads infield, receiving the ball, it puts the left half away into space. By the left half moving forward down the field, off the ball, the fullback stepping up and actually engaging the ball, and the player moving off the yellow cone and infield, we create a channel for the left half to receive the ball in space. The player over the ball initiates the play and by stepping forward creates confusion in the mind of the defender, whose biggest priority should be their lane. The defender on the sideline is effectively anchored in position because if they move away, it creates space for the player over the ball to take a self-pass. By this player leading off the cone and into the middle of the field, it creates a two-on-one situation and an easy outlet from the left line. Building off the elimination of the press, we have two attackers marked by two defenders in orange shirts. The two attackers need to work together in order to coordinate an effective lead pattern to ensure they create space. Let's have a look at the first attacker's lead pattern. The first attacker leads down the line and then cuts infield in order to create a channel on the sideline. Looking at the player in the middle of the field, the attacker waits for the primary lead to be completed and cut infield then makes a cut to the far white cone. The outlet is completed when the middle attacker receives the ball and looks to link with the player who made the primary lead. So as you can see, this is a simple and effective way to beat an offensive press and get the ball forward into attack using uh, some very simple start positions and some very simple outletting.